<laughs> All right, um, A, please don't give me, I'm doing my best here. Before we continue, we pause to acknowledge that we are, before we continue, we pause to acknowledge that we are on the land of the Muwekma Owane people. We recognize that the foundation of Stanford University and the United States rests upon the genocide, exclusion, and erasure of indigenous peoples. However, we remember the connection of the Owane to this land and their continuing presence on it. And we give thanks for the opportunity to live, work, learn, and pray here. All right, so within the first couple pages of your program, don't look now, but just trust me, you'll, you'll find a picture of some members of the 1970 class. was absolutely amazing I had such a good time um, <clears throat> so today uh, today was Saturday and what did I do today I went to the gym I yeah woke up early went to the gym um, did a little bit of work on my thesis and then um, went to the balsa gala the balsa um, is the Black Law Students Association at Stanford Law School and they were holding their 50th anniversary gala um, well they call it a gala here yeah, but <laughs> gala <laughs> today and yeah so they had a dinner planned and they had like 
these alum like all of these amazing people come um i think they had the first black the first three black law school graduates from stanford which i thought was super cool like really really amazing that they organized that and um yeah like i didn't know what to expect because i went alone um balsa is mainly made up of jds so people who are doing their first law degree and obviously i am an advanced degree student i'm in the llm program and um i am the only black student in the llm program and the only african um it's pretty much all international students but the only black student and the only african and in a class of about like i think almost 90 90 llms um and then I think one of like two or three um, or three or four black advanced degree students and that so that's the LLMs as well as the PhDs. Um, the PhDs, you know, obviously you, the more advanced PhDs are not on campus because they don't have to be. And also they're just busy like, you know, writing their dissertations and all of that stuff. So you hardly actually see them. So um but I think when I came to Stanford, I was really struggling to find like my tribe and I still am a little bit, especially within the law school because, you know, being the only black student can be quite isolating um, or the only black LLM can be quite isolating um, because it helps to have people who kind of get you, get where you come from, get your context as well as um, are on the same academic path as you and I don't really have that. so. Um, yeah, I, I gravitated towards the Black Law Students Association and all of the people there have been so sweet and so amazing and they would, like today, um, they had an after party afterwards and it was so fun. Um, you know, they would be like, oh, come and party with us. Like, they would insist that I attend the Balsa Gala and they would insist that I attend the after party. So I went alone. Um, didn't really have like um, you know like a posse or like you know a group of friends that you go to the party with um, one of the friends I invited couldn't make it because she wasn't around um, and she's from South Africa too but she's not in the law school um, and she you know she was busy so she couldn't make she couldn't come with me so I went alone and I thought I wouldn't have a good time but I had such a good time like it was a good night I dressed up, I had on, um, you know, my African attire, girl, my trad. <laughs> I have a friend who calls it trad, and I'm like, who says that? But anyway, um, yeah, but it was just, it was a really, 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 really good night. Like, today was just a good day, I think. It was like a good balance of a little bit of work, a little bit of play. Um, tomorrow is Sunday, and... I have to get to bed because I have to work on my thesis. My first chapter of my thesis is due to my supervisor, uh, or as they call it here, an advisor, as well as to my research methods um, lecturers um, and instructors. So, yeah, that is, you know, obviously a big deal. So I have to get cracking on that because... Um, I pretty much have it all kind of figured out. It's more so just filling things in as opposed to like starting from a blank slate. So it's not a train smash, but it is something that I have to work on. I want to, I want to submit, you know, good work. Um, so, but I think I really needed time to just have a good time and let my hair down and, you know, dress up and I don't know, just have fun. And I'm glad that... Um, I stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit and I went to this event where I knew pretty much no one. Oh, I also was able to connect with someone, um, um, like a professional connection. And, you know, so there's that also. So, yeah, I think I just, I don't know. I'm just, it was just a good night, a good day. And I just want to encourage you, if you're in a new space, um, it can be really scary and really um, intimidating to go into a new space, especially where other people know each other and you don't know anyone. It can feel really intimidating. Um, but, you know, step out of your comfort zone, meet new people, 
have conversations with people reconnect with you know people you might have been acquainted with but never actually had a proper conversation you know kind of get to know them more and that's kind of what I did the whole night essentially was people that I had spoken to briefly I you know this was a second opportunity or uh, another opportunity to talk to them and so it was really fun um yeah so I I just took off my makeup and everything washed my face um I'm gonna go to bed because I am exhausted. I hope I'm able to wake up tomorrow. I was hoping to work out as well tomorrow because I'm trying to keep on at least a three times a week workout schedule. But yeah, I went hard on Monday and was basically <laughs> incapacitated <laughs> for the whole week. Couldn't walk or anything because I did a really hectic leg day and I think I pushed myself too hard. So yeah, I'm trying to balance um, you know, working out, taking care of my body, but also being able to recover and being able to be productive the next day, um, and subsequent days after that. So it's just a constant balance, man. But anyway, I am rambling at this point. So yeah, I am going to go to bed and I am going to end the vlog here. I don't know when next I'm going to vlog. Um, but thank you so much for watching i see your comments those of you who want to contact me i will have a email address linked somewhere in this video so you can send me an email because um i don't check my comments that often um but i do appreciate them i do see a lot of them thank you so much for your support thank you for those of you who've been commenting most of the comments have been really really kind and I'm glad that even if this is helping one person that I know people say that all the time but I really <laughs> I totally get it as someone who also now vlogs um, that if even one person like watches it's it feels good and I'm grateful so with that said <laughs> good night peace